Hello there. Thanks for dropping by. Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. What? What do we have? I mean, I got this one in the mail. And it's made by Riot Knives. It's titanium frame lock flipper with carbon fiber called the Arc Form Slim Foot. It's a Jeff Blavelt design. Tough knives. But Riot manufactured this knife. And it's very, very nice. Very nice. Hey, I got to get my hands on it for a while. Put it up on my Instagram. I, I, I've seen this knife before, and they've got it on Blade HQ. And, of course, you can go to the Arc Form uh, website and buy one there. I'll give you the link to that site, and uh, pretty much that's it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, because, yes, you can still get these. They're $350. Interesting. Uh, you've got this. Full length fuller, a full fuller. And look at the uh, grind area, stone wash, satin flats, interesting blade design. Really nice action. Click right in there, huh? Milled titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. What do you think about that backspacer? Oh, and this carbon fiber is really nicely done. I mean, you can see the delineation here because, I mean, if you, you know, you feel closely enough, yes. Uh, but, I mean, just like this, it's just, it's seamless. Whoosh, just like that. Haven't taken it apart. I'm sure, you know, it's bearings on the pivot, all that good stuff. And it's centered. And it look at the flipper tab. Clear up front here. Jimped. Rolled over the top with jimping. But it's very intuitive. And you know what? That's pretty good detent there, folks. Uh, I tried to gravity flip it, and that wasn't working for me. Let me try it again. <laughs> no. There goes the shoulder. Oh, man. Now, someday, someday, if I keep doing stuff like that without warming up first, uh, it's going to be surgery. But, yes, that's pretty tough detent. So, I'd say... For this one, I you know, I'm trying to assess, but I'd say seven on my detent scale. And if you're familiar with my detent scale, zero is is you just hold the knife like this and the blade falls out. Um, and ten has never been achieved by mankind. <laughs> I don't know. Why why is ten the toughest if nothing ever hits a ten? I don't know. So this is a seven. Maybe you could call it a seven and a half. It, it's it's pretty good detent. Um, but you know, it it works. It works. Um yeah. Let's see. Let's do a size comparison. Here's just your regular Manix knife. And the the Manix is a little bit bigger. Man, if I smeared that blade up, what am I doing? Somebody's been messing with my man axe while my head's been turned. <laughs> Something in here at night when the, when the lights are turned off in the studio. Um, so yeah, the man axe is a little bit bigger because this is maybe a three and a half inch blade, but it's only 7.8, 7.9, not quite eight inches overall. Man axe is eight inches. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, yeah, they're the same size really. And there you go again. So, I mean, if you throw like the Para 3 in here, or Para 3, yeah, I got one coming. A Freudian slip. Para 2, sorry, fancy. 
I'm trying to mess you up with your smaller sister here. In fact, the one I got coming is S110 as well. But it's not for me, but it's, I'm still going to throw it up on my channel. I don't care. It comes through this studio. It's going on tape. And, uh, yeah, the pair of two is eight and a quarter. So, you know, this is a few tenths off as far as that goes, size-wise. And let me confirm that to you. Supposedly a three and a half inch blade of S35 VN steel. You know, sheep's foot grind or sheep's foot shape. Three and a half. It's three and a half. It's all of that. I mean... If you get right up here on the closest part on the bolster area and see, not quite eight, is it? No, but it's 7.85 or 7.9, really close because it's only about a 16th off of uh, eight inches. Okay, so a little over 20 centimeters total length. And then if you're looking at three and a half year inches uh, on the blade, you're looking at 90 millimeters. I'm getting good with metrics. Hell, I could almost go to Europe and get around. And, uh, you know, you've got this choil up front here. So, hey, there you go. We're thinking about sharpening a blade, ease of sharpening. What do you think? I mean, this the top of this blade's kind of interesting because it's, it's also, you know, beveled here. Here and here. I mean, you have uh, nice, smooth, well-rounded, all the way. Very nice. Um, if I had paper to cut, I'd cut some. Let me see if I can find some. Get out of the way, boys. Coming through. <laughs> Man, I always have to make things difficult, don't I? I don't think this has been carried and used. I think this is the original edge. Although, hmm, it, could, it could use a little refining on the edge. Not the sharpest. Not bad, though. Uh, maybe it could be my paper cutting skills. And you guys that know me best know how that goes. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Get out. Out! Fool. Oh, it comes in this box, by the way. And uh, you can slide this little slider out of the way because then it pops open. Kind of like a knife casket. Here you go, arc form. And underneath. Yeah, it's fitted. So you can just throw it in there. And I think there's something underneath here, but... I really haven't messed with it. Oh, there you go. Little little sticker. I think it's I think that's all it is. Oh man, let's just destroy everything. No? Yeah, it is. It's a sticker. Okay. So we're gonna put this all back really nice. Cause this is going to a new home via my table sale. Cause nobody spoke up yet for it. I mean, I put it on my Instagram. You'd think somebody'd want this puppy. I mean, you can buy a new one for three fifty, but this one, I think he wanted like three. So, I mean, this is basically brand new. Nice. I mean, I'm looking at it, going, "Oh, if my wallet hadn't collapsed for lack of funds, I'd be on this." Because you know what? This is. It's really. A, a good quality feeling knife. It really is. Uh, you know, great detent, interesting blade design, but I do like the design of this knife. Well made, obviously. Backspacers are interesting. You like that? Whew, that's, that's a backspacer like I don't think I've seen before. But I do like the fact that they did that. No lanyard hull. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Eh. I mean, I'm not big into lanyards anyhow, so that's not really a hurt for me. Uh, and you can see the over-travel stop through here if you get proper lighting in there. 
And, oh, well, we can always throw the flashlight on her. Someday that battery's going to die on this thing. I don't know. Okay, so there's your over-travel stop. You can see through there and your insert in here. So, uh, hardened steel insert, all that. I don't know. I, I don't know if they're ceramic bearings or not. Um, I know we knives, they were always using ceramic, but not sure on this one. And tell you the truth, I really don't care. Uh, that's definitely, I think ceramics kind of oversold anyhow. So as far as, uh, I'm concerned, there's your lockup. Mm, that's a solid 35 to 40% on there. And check the pass through here. Not, you know, it's not a, a huge cutaway for you to be able to get past this front scale to the back one, but still it's easy to disengage. Um, you know, it's, this is thick enough material. I don't know. It's just easy to disengage. So it's not a problem. It doesn't have to be a big, huge differential in height here between the front and the back scale to make that happen. And I never really did look to see if they had weight relieve the inside but i don't you know um no no okay now i don't know that they really needed to it doesn't feel all that heavy it's supposed to be 4.6 ounces let's pull out the little the little wonder here that we've been doing recently instead of the monster and we're at grams so let's see what grams tells us 131 grams Okay, so let's roll back to the ounces. Uh, 4.64. Gosh, perfect. Right on with uh, the Blade HQ readout here. Uh, 4.64 ounces. Right hand tip up carry titanium, of course. You know, it's black and gray because black carbon fiber, gray titanium. And, uh, no, we haven't done the, uh, but the handle length is point is a uh, four and a half and uh, stone wash, plain, uh, edge, hollow grind, sheep's foot. You can see all that. Correct. And no, it's not free. What? No, it costs money, but it's still in stock as of the filming of this. Of course, we don't use film. It's just digital. So just to be perfectly precise and what would you do with this everyday carry i guess made in china there you go designer jeff uh yeah okay ceramic ball bearings you know if you can read you don't have to take the knife apart to find out if it's ceramic bearings <laughs> there you go brilliant Sometimes I just amaze myself with my intellect. Um, okay, get out of the way here. Yeah, cool. I like this box. It's really cool. It's nice and fitted. And uh, so that works well. You know, you got this little drop-down area for your pocket clip. And, you know, goes in. Well presented. Magnetic. Magnetic. Oh, well. And then this goes over the top of the knife here. Why they cut the little corner on here, I don't know. I guess so you could grab it and pull it out. Uh, so it wouldn't be kind of a one of those things. So, in any case, yeah. Fairly light. Not quite 8 inches. Great EDC size. And let's, let's do, let's blow ourselves up here with this. Uh, figuring out, well... We ain't going to get around that part of it. Even if we could get it over here, how big is that? That's 0.53, and that's not even fitting. So let's try this one. Let's try the fat fatty. Let's make sure you're at a negative zero. Nothing like a negative zero. Well, that's pretty close to what we were saying, 13.7, 0.53. Okay, so it is. So that's not, I mean, that's kind of just in your normal range of uh, EDC. I bet this is close to four millimeters and it is it's 0.16 so that would be four millimeters that would be at least four eh, let's see yeah there you go 
right at four. We can wiggle it a little bit. 3.9. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. So you got these screws in here. So I'm imagining that this carbon fiber is held on through there. Let me see. You got these attachment points here and the pivot. So I imagine that would take this backside off. And I'm thinking that maybe this carbon fiber comes off and then you've got uh, screws buried under here. Possibly. Don't know for sure. Haven't taken it apart. But that's interesting. Um, uh, apparently then that means that maybe this is not held on through uh, with adhesive, but I don't know that for sure. Obviously, this is the way to take it apart, uh, although you do have, you know, your Torx uh, availability here and with these screws as well as here and these screws. And, you know, that's one of those things I've talked about before, which is why don't you do carbon fiber on both sides and kind of make it more uniform, both sides, you know? A lot of knives are like this, though. Right? They do the CF on one side, and then they go straight tie on the other. Even though you could put a little strip in here, you could put some little carbon fiber accents. It'd be a lot more work, machine-wise. And you can see that this pocket clip is obviously attached from the inside of the scale. Because you're not seeing any screws in there. So, um... I was going to see, no, I mean, you know, I was going to pull this knife and go, see, you can see that they've done the carbon. Nah, they haven't done carbon fiber on both sides of this one either. So there you go. Um, <sighs> but yeah, some of them, some of them they do. Yeah, nice action though. Really good. I mean, not, I mean, you can get it to drop like this is not bad click wow really like it it's a good looking knife give you another look see at it i mean if the blade shape is not your style or whatever but you know what wow the hand really fits in here really good this is not really a hot spot here but you can feel it you know because it does elevate this this side this the scale here it's not like some of the stamped clips that really are really close to the scale this one stands off a little bit more but it's not uncomfortable okay there's no jimping up here or anything but you know how hard a use a knife is this gonna be or more proud carry i imagine you know balanced all right and you know you can look at the the plunge looks symmetrical. I mean, this <sighs> workmanship, fit and finish is really good on these knives. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we roll the backspacer for you. Roll the backspacer all the way around. Kind of give you a little bit more of a look here. And then I'm going to cut you loose. We got things to do. But I wanted to put this up on uh, on my channel. Hey, every different kind of knife uh, has its own charm to a degree. They're ups, they're downs, they're good points, they're bad points. I'm not seeing a lot of bad points here. It's just now a matter of do you like the design? Because really, the ergos are good, okay? And it feels good in the hand. It's a solid knife. It's got enough thickness here. It's not real tall, so it'd be a good slender carry. It's not real long. It's under eight inches, but it's a three and a half inch blade. So talk about are we using everything? Whew. But we're not hooking the blade here, so but we couldn't have done much with I mean more here. So great efficient use there.
of of what space you had. Four and a half inch handle, three and a half inch blade fits in there. I mean, you're looking at, you know, like the Para 2, five inch handle, 3.45 or barely three and a half inch blade. But you got another half inch on here. So, yeah, just, just saying. Really good, efficient use of space here. Slender, good looking. All right, cut you loose. Get out of here. And join us next time, by the way. Right, Flanagan? But of course, because you know what we do here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.